Hey everyone, welcome back to another high quality foodie feature for you here on the channel, Cheaters Camp Style. After hours at Del Taco as they look to the sea for the inspiration on their latest epic burrito. That's right, so stay tuned because the epic crispy fish and guac burrito is up next. Welcome to Peep This Out Reviews with Ian K. Stay frosty. So here we go with the epic crispy fish and guac burrito here at Del Taco. And already I'm very impressed with the amount of fish on the inside of this one, guys. And with a name like Epic in the title, you'd expect there to be a lot of fish. And this is looking pretty awesome. Starting off with the obvious, we've got an oversized warm tortilla filled with the good stuff. And that obviously includes the crispy beer battered Alaskan Pollock that you see in front of you here, guys. It's looking pretty awesome. Along with it, we've got a blend of romaine and iceberg lettuce, fresh guacamole, diced tomatoes, tortilla strips, and an avocado Caesar dressing. And again, a very solid size to this, guys. This is looking pretty awesome. As you can see, split in half, very hearty looking. Let's not waste any more time on this one. It's the epic crispy fish and guac burrito here at Del Taco. Let's peep out this flavor. Yeah, buddy, this almost feels like a Caesar salad in my hand here right now, guys, and it's got some weight to it just with the half over here. And again, the fish is looking pretty awesome on the inside. Just take a look at that. Three large shanks, I want to call them. And as you can see, that Alaskan Pollock is beautiful. Looking really flaky. That action is awesome. On the very bottom, you can see the guac, the fresh lettuce, all that good stuff on this one. Guys, a very solid presentation indeed. All right, enough talking. Let's get down to business. It's the epic crispy fish and guac burrito here at Del Taco. Let's do it. Mmm. Oh. Mm-hmm. Right away, that avocado Caesar dressing on this has got such a tartness to it on top of it. I almost feel like I'm kind of tasting some lime mixed in with it. But guys, the creaminess of the guacamole right into the crispy coating of the Alaskan Pollock itself and then the crunch of the lettuce and even more guacamole on the side. This is super flavorful. And honestly, in the very beginning when I saw this, I thought it's going to be a decent flavor naturally because of what's in it. But when you get into it, it's so explosive that way. Really, really solid. Let's keep going in. Mmm. Oh, man. You know, I gotta say, I'm so glad they opted to not put rice in this, guys, because it really doesn't need it. The creaminess of that awesome guacamole is really shining through, and when you get the nice crunch of the lettuce on the back end with it, it's a beautiful situation. But when that dovetails into the creamy Caesar dressing, that's when it really lights up. That avocado has got some goodness on its own on the inside of that one. And then naturally, with the outer coating of the Alaskan Pollock, guys, this is a very flavorful epic burrito by far. And honestly, there's really no need to even have avocado in the Caesar dressing because you've got plenty of guacamole to begin with. And I'm really digging that on top of it, guys. And just so you guys know, and you're probably seeing on the screen here right now, this thing has got some serious weight, just not only in the half department, but the whole thing. When I pick this one up, you can feel it packed with the goodness, guys. Considering it's almost six bucks, well worth it. There's a lot of fish in this right now, and I am totally digging this. Let's go for a couple more bites on this one. Banging, guys. Totally banging. Let's go. Mmm. Man, I am so down with the creamy factor of this epic burrito right now, guys. The guacamole and that dressing together is a beautiful combination. Again, the tartness is kind of there from it. It really, really is a nice flavor. I mean, you're tasting the Caesar, but there's a little something extra where it's almost like a lime flavor, and I'm digging that. And that actually dovetails, again, right into the Alaskan Pollock. And guys, it is just a lovely situation. So again, it really does feel like you're having a Caesar salad in your hand, but it's packed with crispy fish. And again, the combination and the flavor is just amazing on this one, guys. Totally, totally satisfied with what I'm having here right now. And I didn't think I was gonna be. And that's not a swipe against this because I love the epic burritos over here. But again, this type of fast food fish, again, is not really my forte. I'm kind of slowly being migrated over to it. And honestly, this is another step in the right direction because it's done amazingly well, guys. Just totally delicious. All right, so let's go for one more bite of this one, then we'll finish this review out after the rating. But guys, I gotta tell you again, a lovely situation over here to give this one a go at Del Taco. And for all of you fish lovers out there, especially during the season of Lent, you have another banging choice to go with, guys. And again, the combination of that avocado, the Caesar, everything together, totally awesome. Let's go for another bite and we'll finish it up. Hang on. It's creamy, it's crunchy, it's thick, it's hearty. It's got some amazing flavor and a lot of goodness packed on the inside of this one here, guys. And again, a very solid amount of that Alaskan Pollock, very flaky, and this is easily something that should be on your radar, guys. Like I said, the combination works amazingly well. All of these ingredients really combine to give you an awesome burrito eating experience, especially with the fish variety. Very solid. 
So let me just confirm it for you guys. I'm gonna have to give the Epic Crispy Fish and Guac Burrito here at Del Taco a rock solid 10 out of 10. And I can't believe I'm actually doing that with a fast food fish product. But guys, this is totally amazing right now. Out of all the stuff that I've tried up to this point, this is probably the top tier in terms of flavor, in terms of value, in terms of size, and just the hardiness. A beautiful situation. And like I said, if you've got Del Taco in the area, this needs to be on your radar. Very, very solid, and it's sizable, guys. That's the biggest thing. A lot of flavor to go with that size. Pretty bang it. All right, so let me keep it simple for you, which I try to do with these end of the review questions that I like to throw out there. Very simply, are you gonna be giving this one a shot? Is this something that's on your radar to give a go if you've got Del Taco in your area? Drop those comments down below and definitely let me know. And with that, this is Ian K closing out another high quality foodie feature for you here on Peep This Out Reviews, Cheaters Cam Style. After hours, bringing you brand new content every single week here on my channel. So why stay tuned for the next review coming real soon. In the meantime, stay frosty. Fast food fish that's actually pretty epic. All right, guys, until next time, I'll talk to you soon. Hey, thanks for checking out another one of my reviews. But just in case you didn't see the one before this one, you can find it right up over here, along with what I think YouTube's going to recommend for you to check out as well. As always, I think you'll find something to like in both of them, and I'll definitely catch you in the next one. See ya.